Australia. Whoa! In Western Australia. This is probably the first in Australia. Well, I don't know about maybe. Very know. possibly the first. There you go. So it's just like a sash. That's that's yeah. very easy to wear. That's very light. Hello. There's fish. Yeah. There's a sea. What? Oh, there's an atom or something. Oh, what the hell is that? I touched it and made music. That's so cool. Yeah. Some flashing sort of signal here, and whenever I touch it, the audio uh, uh, just goes crazy, and it, the visual starts going hyperactive as if I've. Oh, oh, wow! Turn it up. So that was my reaction after using the Magic Leap for the very first time. Forget other virtual reality systems, forget Google Glasses and, and the Oculus Rift. Think a cross between Ready Player One and Tony Stark, and then you have the magic leap, the future in augmented reality. Using a head-mounted display, it superimposes 3D generated images over your real world by tracking your retina and eye movements. Two weeks ago, I had the opportunity to play with the magic leap and unlike other virtual reality and augmented reality systems, it's completely untethered. Martin Sortell and his company Beta Sight are using the Magic Leap to understand how this technology can be used to help monitor people's health. Now I've put a link below uh, of his company, so check that out. After five minutes of use, I could immediately see the potential benefits that the Magic Leap could have across a huge range of industries and sectors, from training and education to health and medicine and so much more. So now I'm about to play you some of the highlights from my evening experimenting with the Magic Leap. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to film what I was seeing, but I will put the commercial for the Magic Leap prior to my highlights, and I'll just say that the commercial doesn't do it justice. All right, here's the Magic Leap. The first in Australia. Well, I don't know about that. Maybe. You never Very know. possibly the first. Yeah. We'll get a close up of this in a sec. There you go. So what have, what have we got here? It's a magic leap. So it's a magic leap. Yeah. And a magic leap is augmented reality. Uh, the, or, yeah, augmented reality. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Headset with yeah. Um, what sort of capabilities? Uh, it's not that different to the HoloLens, I suppose, in most respects, but. The things that do make it different is that the optics are special. They've got waveguide optics, which is a, a method of projecting images into the eye. I think it's basically using fiber optics to shoot light across the lens and then in. Wow. And it can do multiple focal planes. So it's got two focal planes in this, which isn't that many, but you know, hoping for more in the future. Because when you look at things that are close or look at things that are far, uh, your eyes will, the optics, you know, the lenses shift. They adjust. The other thing uh, that's cool is that it's got eye tracking. Oh, so wow. it tracks where you look. Okay. Um, and it does that because it needs to switch to your focal planes. But you can use that to interact with things. Um, not oh, different, different objects. Well, I mean, whatever you want it for. It knows where you're looking and you can show that. Uh, we have a demo in here that's written by actually Unity. Uh, to, to so this is the complete unit itself. Um, so we've got, I take it, uh, a couple of accelerometers. A CPU yeah. and some uh, some, oh, yeah. some sort of uh, graphics sort of so, uh, processor. So this is the it does all the processing off off the headset on the hip. So this is an Nvidia Tegra. Oh wow! Yes, Tegra. yes. And it's actually got active cooling. So the battery's here, the Tegra's here, and there's a little fan and exit vent just there. That's that brilliant. Show you. That is brilliant. Um, and yeah, that's it. That's pretty much. Now it. the headset itself. Uh, how much does this weigh, approximately? What uh, would you say? A couple hundred grams. Five hundred grams. This is extremely it's light compared yeah. to uh, Oculus Rift and the very early virtual yeah, reality headsets. It's probably about the same as Oculus Rift, but considering, like, the good thing is it put all the compute power here. 
uh, lighter than the Hololens, which is a major yes. I'd say. Now this just uh, expands out the back, yeah, yeah, and that goes that. on the head. The other cool thing is this little box just here is the way that you use this pointer, it's like a laser pointer, um, it doesn't have to be in front of them magically to pick it up because then it would be kind of irritating you have to put it here all the time. Uh, you can use it here and the way it does that is it has three magnetic coils in this box that figures out where this is. Yeah. Okay. And now, uh, so this just goes on the head like so? Yep. Okay. I'll hit the on button so you can start. It takes a little while to boot so we'll get that going. No worries. Now, now what, what do I need to wear? Uh, yeah, put your arm in here. There you go. And over the top. Okay. There you go. So it's just like a sash. That's that's yep. very easy to wear. That's very light. And kids love it. <laughs> oh wow, that's um. They can hold down that. That's button. not very restricted just at all. Hold down that button to turn it on. Hold down yeah, that yeah, button. it's pretty easy. Um, so we'll move we'll move this Ooh. chair out of the way. So this vibrates straight away, and well, we've got the turn on thing, yeah. And we've got it uh, lighting up on the front there. We'll move this crate. So just to describe what I can see here, I can see uh, clearly through the lens. Um, and uh, it's a bit like sunglasses, it's a bit dark. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's slightly yeah. polarized. Okay, so obviously, I see something happening with the display here. Wow, that's interesting. So, to explain what I'm seeing, I'm seeing uh, just something projected in front of my eyes here, but uh, it looks as if the display is just activating. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. Okay, so what I'm seeing is a Magic League logo in front of me, and it's projected in between my front and myself and the camera. Uh, now, when I move my head, what I see stays and remains where it is. And you can and, walk around it. And I'm looking around. And so, what I'm looking at here is the actual, uh, I wish I could put this onto, uh, is this online so I can... Uh, no, there's some way to record video, I just haven't figured out what it is. That's yeah. alright. So, so you have to describe trigger. everything. I'll tap, tap the trigger. At the front, yeah. Okay. Oh wow, that's very intuitive. So it's got sort of like a touchpad on the top here, which is much like a mouse scroller, that is ever so amazing. Oh wow, that is fantastic. And I'm just selecting the trigger here, much like a Wii controller, to uh, select the options that I see in the display. If you guys could see what I see, this is probably the closest thing to a heads-up display. Sorry, is that uh, a digital one? Uh, no, it's not. No? Yeah. Okay. So you've got to type that in. I'm going to, I'm going to close this door so it gets scanned in. And that way, I'll step out because, um, or I'll be ready to step out because I don't want to be in the scan. Uh, the first scan doesn't matter, but when we load content, it does. We'll see. So There's a little turtle sitting around, checking the password. Oh yeah. Wow, that's amazing. We've got a hot air balloon circling. Yeah. Where you're standing, there's another land with some deer on it. There's some sort of spaceship up the top there, a, a little lem module or something. And oh, it's a spaceman jumping. I just noticed there was a yeah. spaceman. So much detail. We don't recognize your space. Yeah. Scanning will help improve your world. Yeah, this, this scan's fine. You can just walk around and look at stuff and you'll see the scan pop up as little dots. So walk around and look at stuff and you should see dots. Oh, wow. Around. Okay. So it looks like, yeah, there's lots of LED dots. And it's just oh, okay. It's recognise that surface. So it's, it's it's trying to recognise if there's if this has been stored in memory before because it'll remember where you've been, but we've never been here, so it's going to get confused soon and complain about it. I wish I could project what I'm seeing into the bottom corner of this visual. This is amazing, guys. Okay, we don't recognise your space. We have insufficient data to build your space. Please walk around and look at colourful, non-reflective, opaque objects. Uh, Let's right. scan that again. So it is projecting what I see under the space in front of me, yet I can still clearly see, unlike a VR system. Oh, the best positioning for the headset, just move the strap at the back up a bit. Uh, up a bit, gotcha. Yeah, it needs to be clear of ears, so up a bit more if you can. It, it's kind of weird, it's like a fair way up. Okay. Yeah, it's different, right? So we've got uh, planes. What is it? Raycast, video capture. Oh, okay, so I'm um, going to all apps down the bottom. Oh, actually, that's... you see the one that looks like an egg? It's like a white egg thing. Yes. Yeah, go on that, it's called Tanandi. Oh, wow, that's like a, a 3D printed. 
Okay, that's very cool. And we've got some options up the top. So what I'm seeing here, guys, is a menu, very easy to see. And uh, when you select the option using the, uh, the pad there, let me just um, bring that up. So we've got the scan pad there. I'll take some videos of this later. So yeah, this is extremely light. Um, I mean, I can't even notice that I'm wearing it. Um, so this is the thing about VR and AR. In VR, this is easy because I know what he's seeing. Yes, AR, yes. I've got no idea what he's seeing, but he can see me, so it's backwards. Oh, that made a noise. Oh, there we go, okay, image recorded. Oh, we found a new shortcut. I think if you click that and that together, ready? Hi. Hi, yes, yes. Maybe, was there a button there? How did you click that? I don't know, I, what, did I okay, click something? I, I think we took a screenshot, but we don't know. Yeah, we, I don't know, <laughs> whatever just happened um, was cool. How do we go back to menu? Have a look around, is there a menu anyway? This is the future of user interfaces. <laughs> no, 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 uh, give, give us the headset, yeah, I'll see. Yeah, yeah. It's just weird that it's um, staying quiet for so long. Well done. No, it's fine. Oh, I know what it might be. I think there's a button on here <clears throat> called Reality. I did touch that. That could be the button, we'll see. I'm just going to take the camera off and uh, get some close-ups here. It's doing some sort of blink. Yes. Looks kind of like a UFO. <laughs> Pack all that into something that size. Just, I mean, I can see right now there's a whole load of sensors around the, uh, mm -hmm. the actual headset itself. You've got, yeah. Magically, we're back to the uh, beginning, yeah. which is fantastic. Um, the volume in these, where is the where is the sound coming from? It's got like little speakers inside. But I don't have earbuds in. Yeah, no, they're sitting in the head strap. It's not that, it's just... It's, it is, no, it's uh, loud. It, but it sounds pretty good, yeah. Wow. Surprisingly good. Yeah. That is real. I want headphones like this. Because I don't like putting earbuds in. I just bought my sister some actually. The the like little um the jaw volume things are uh, aftershocks. Those ones. They're pretty good. Wow. The control is no longer required. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can put that down. Oh uh, okay, so yeah. <clears throat> it has gesture recognition as well. Oh hand gestures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can touch stuff. That's what this game's about. So I'm experiencing currently audio, some sort of uh, 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 sort of cinematic sort of atmospheric music. Why is gaming not here already? Mm -hmm. This is this is gaming. Multiplayer would be good if I could see what you're seeing and interact with you. The the thing that I find hilarious is that you worked on Ready Player One. Mm. And this is Ready Player One, essentially. Not far off. Yeah. If you've seen Ready Player One, this is essentially what the headset the guy was using, except one step further, where, um, uh, you know, I think he was fixed to a, a stationary location, is that correct? Yeah, I mean, and, and the headset was um, covering his whole field of view, so he only saw it, the, Yeah. Yeah, yeah so it's more virtual reality, unless, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. This is more Where this, I can actually walk down the street and rather than, say, yeah. someone having a, uh, a signboard, which is yeah. currently posted, they can do whatever specials they want, yeah. software wise I think it'd be fun for graffiti if you could tune into different radio channels of graffiti and see different things, you know, it'd be kind of fun. There you go. Hello, there's fish. Yeah. There's a sea, what? Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I'm seeing all sorts of cool things around me at the moment. This is very... Uh, oh, there's an atom or something. Oh, what the hell is that? I touched it and made music, that is so cool. Yeah, so I can interact with my environment. Yeah. Okay, I'm currently seeing some sort... Guys, I'm currently seeing a flashing item. Uh, let me just change that line a bit. Some flashing sort of signal here and whenever I touch it, the audio uh, uh, just goes crazy and it, the visual starts going hyperactive as if I've... Oh! Oh! Turn wow! It, turn it up because the camera will catch the audio. Yeah, I'll turn up the volume. Hang on, I'll put my head in the way. Really. Oh! 
You can play fishing with this game. Yeah. Do whatever you want. Oh. Oh, I can hit that dinosaur with the other dinosaur. Boom, I just dropped him. Now I'm going to put you up on the piano. Once I'm going to put a dinosaur on your head. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> There's a dinosaur.